Nocebo is directed by Lorcan Finnegan and is currently streaming on Shudder. Christine is very successful at creating popular clothing for children, has a kid of her own and a husband as well. Life seems pretty good until this one day during a runway show for New Kids Clothing Line, she encounters a dog that looks dead and bugs all over it and these bugs go flying at Christine and one attaches itself to her. And But once all the craziness ensues, there looks to be nothing in the room at all. Was she just seeing things? Was she just tripping? So anyhow, months later, Christine's quality of life changes though. She can't sleep well, constant headaches and visions, has pres prescription pills, up the ass. <laughs> Even memory loss. It's affected her work in a very bad way, obviously. And then this one day, a woman named Diana shows up at her front door unannounced, claiming Christine requested her for her assistance around the house. So Christine at first is a little reluctant, but knows her memory is bad and welcomes Diana in. Crazy part, even her husband and daughter had no clue of this and are quite, kind of questioning why this woman is in their home. Thing is, Diana takes care of the home quite well, makes food for them, keeps the place tidy, even starts taking the daughter to school. Things start to get even more interesting when Diana helps Christine with some of her issues, helps the random shaking. It's all gone now. The headaches, gone. Diana seems to be a savior for Christine in a way. But her husband ain't feeling this dude and thinks something's up with this woman, questioning her every move, especially when Christine becomes dependent on Diana for everything. She wants Diana to heal all of her aches and pains desperately. I mean, just take it away. Calgon, take me away. <laughs> but at what cost? And who in the hell is this Diana and what is her true purpose? It's a pretty good movie, I gotta say, man. We've got a good movie here, folks. I really enjoyed the storytelling in this one. They did a good job slowly revealing what Diana's motivations are. You get tidbits every once in a while throughout to give some context. While this does have horror elements, I would say this is more of a psychological horror flick, I guess. Uh, not much blood, but some pretty crazy imagery throughout. The acting between the two main, that the two main characters do, they killed it, dude. They carried this film. Evergreen as Christine was fantastic playing a woman spiraling downward into depression and angst but also a woman with her own secrets that's later revealed. And Chai, uh, I think it's Chai Financier, as Diana, killed it as a stranger coming to this home. And wait till you find out why she's there, dude. Enough said. <laughs> also, you got Mark Strong. He's in this one as well. This dude could play anything, seriously, though. But in this one, he plays more of a supporting character, though, but still shines in every scene that he's in. That great pacing as well. Didn't feel too long and kept you engaged throughout the whole time. I mean, the name of the movie, Nocebo, it means a detrimental effect on health produced by physical or psychosomatic factors, such as negative expectations of treatment or prognosis. So technically, it's the opposite of placebo. So yeah, that should tell you a bit about what's going down in this movie. Definitely a roller coaster of emotions as well. It'll pull your heartstrings to certain parts as well. I'll tell you this, dude. Women don't play around when it comes to certain situations, dude. That's for real. Different type of flick for sure. And I say, check it out. So other recommendations, keeping with the strange visitor at home type vibe. I got two for you. First one is called Single White Female. It's about a woman advertising for a new roommate that finds something very strange is going on with the tenant who decides to move in. Dude, this one... <laughs> is really good dude stars Bridget Fonda and Jennifer Jason Lee dude shit goes down in this one oh the drama there's some craziness dude it's available on YouTube to rent though for sure also I recommend you the hand that rocks the cradle after a humiliated husband kills himself an embittered pregnant widow loses her child and embarks on a mission of vengeance against a woman and her family dude I, all I gotta say is Rebecca De Mornay kills it in this one dude figuratively and literally she's crazy as fuck <laughs> there's some just crazy drama there's some scenes you can be like what it's awesome dude this is definitely both of these movies were definitely great to see in, in the big screen back in the day dude because that's definitely a crowd participation movies for damn sure you know the funny part is both of these movies are available to rent on youtube rent or buy actually so hey i'm just trying to make it easy for you guys but both of these movies are shade nasty approved though 
which means they have my stamp of approval. Now, you know, when you think of Freddy, Jason Voorhees, you know, Leatherface, they're scary as fuck, and you kind of know what they're going to do when they kill you, dude. But an unhinged woman is scarier because you have no clue what the fuck they're going to do. <laughs> Unpredictable, dude. Enough said. Anyhow, uh, yeah, I hope you check them out and enjoy them. I hope you check out Nocebo as well. But anyhow, that's all for today. Stay nasty, my friends, and I'll see you at the next one. Stay nasty out. I'll see you soon. Like and, like subscribe. and subscribe.